Hello everybody, how y'all doing? I'm suffering from ATR fever. I know I am. Great for the money. Um, okay, so lots of YouTube videos out there on detailed stuff um, by people who are far more knowledgeable and um, more prepared than I am. So I'm just doing just a short video here on maybe obvious things that people are missing or don't know about. Um, one is the fuel loading. Um, so let's get in the aircraft. Uh, yeah, it would be great to um, have a great fuel loader like some other add-ons, but you know, it doesn't bother me too much. As long as the fuel goes in, I get the figures on the load sheet. Um, yeah, no shock here. We, as far as I understand it, we have to use the MSFS loader here to put the, um, the fuel and the weight in the cargo and the passengers so yeah I'll just keep this simple I'm not gonna do every passenger or passenger count I'm just doing the weights and the fuel that that's all just so we can get get started just you see here these aren't populated yet There's zero fuel weight fuel weight and gross weight I'll show you in a moment um, so I have a sim brief plan here and my fuel should be 1745 so I'll load that first and we do that through the scroller here of course it's in gallons or pounds if you have the hybrid like I do um, but first here we're gonna go to um, you have to go to the engine page where um, that one okay so we have the fuel here don't, don't look at one number don't forget you've got two fuel tanks here so um, you gotta add these up uh, 1745 I think we said we're looking for so if you scroll this here you'll see the the um, value changes in the in the tanks here so what was it 1745 which is about that yeah I guess that's the closest we're gonna get 870 in each let's just throw in another let's go 900 each that's um, 1800 um, kilograms so okay um, so there we go that's the fuel done loaded um, now we're gonna do the weight uh, we go back to the EFB and back to Simbrief and estimated zero fuel weight 16,100 kilograms so 16.1 tons Let's scroll this again here now empty weight of course stays the same crew weight yeah I'm sure it stays the same unless we eat too much so uh, how much am I gonna need here I need to get to how many was it 16,100 so great mathematics here gonna be about in payload weight 2700 800 yeah about the closest we're gonna get you can see we're well under our limits here so fantastic now if my mathematics are right now if we need want to populate these here to get the performance let's close that down we're done with that right now um, go on the FMC here FMS initiate weight and now do a long press and that will populate oh, I got pretty close didn't I populate the values you've just entered and now if you then go back to here now you can see the weights have gone into the EFB and now we get our calculations and of course we should get here our V speeds all clear uh, we'll leave the rest for the moment we we're just talking about the payload um, and if we press set here we sh as I understand it we're setting the trim let's have a look if that's set here yeah 1.3 upper set so there we go we're set for takeoff and this is just like I say for calculation it's not if you change this value here it's not going to change the fuel in the tanks uh, sorry here it's not going to change the fuel in the tanks so uh, there we go that's it and uh, good luck um, one thing you might not know I think it's pretty cool you know you have the buttons down here uh, to change the uh, ND or the MFD uh, what it shows and it's kind of hard in the sim to to look down here and then look, look up here so they've cleverly put some click spots on here I'm just figuring them out it's I've got to practice a little bit more but if you're on the nav display here then you can change the range you see that plus and minus that's pretty cool or if you click on the side you can change the display 
pretty cool and go on the other side then we can change um, what it actually displays pretty cool I think uh, let's go on to the center display here this is really cool so of course now for the um, checklist we have down here um, the scroller and the up and down and the validate on the menu um, but if we go back to this here I'll zoom in for you this is really cool I think uh, I think it's on the left here is is basically up and down that's up down validate so down would be it yeah, there we go let's go to normal procedures validate oh there we go uh, copy preparation one there we go we've got all our um, all our uh, checklists and stuff um, I'm just uh, for, I just figured this out actually so um, let's go to um, before takeoff checklist for example there we go and then you can validate on here takeoff briefing yep performed Gus lock off for example flight controls checked Whack up, waggle on the joystick there you go so play around with that it's pretty cool um, no that was cool <laughs> did you see that when um, when the menu went onto airflow it did brought up the appropriate um, display here I think that's pretty cool you know people are complaining about the price 12 bucks or 20 bucks I mean come on I know we all want uh, the best add-ons we could get it would be great having an S FS lab style ATR or a majestic dash style ATR and this is close enough isn't it I mean we yeah anyway I won't go on about it just be happy with what we get and I know yeah well if we're always happy with substandard products will never get any good ones there's a reason why we don't get many good ones and I don't know what those reasons are but I can guess it takes a lot of time a lot of resources and um, yeah we all know sales in MFS <laughs> MSFS are um, yeah well yeah let's just put it I'm not sure a lot of products are bought these days but anyway there you go that's another thing and it's just the way it is as long as that's going on we're never going to get what we want so enough said enjoy it and I'm off to where am I going to Tenerife North to Lanzarote with the amazing scenery look at this if I can just oh, this is, I'll do reset the flight of course downloaded this free photogrammies grammy grammatry scenery here this is just absolutely stunning Look at this here. Whoop, wrong way. Look at this. And that's on poor settings there. It's just awesome. So, anyway, it's by Enzo on Flight Sim. Oh, here we go. Oh my, oh my god. So, enjoy and goodbye. Thank you.